In this video we'll be looking at uh, how the rig operates with a, uh, a single point or a uh, fly cutter basically. You can see we've got a high speed steel cutter in there, it's just a piece of round high speed steel that's been ground to shape um, and I'm going to do some teeth into uh, this uh, hard aluminium gear blank. This is a 55 tooth gear blank size, this is really meant for a 30 but it will give you an idea of how it works. So it'll cut a little bit wider than necessary but uh, for the demonstration it'll just give you an idea of how the thing uh, goes. And the fly cutters work good, um, they're a bit slow compared to, well they're quite slow compared to a an involute gear cutter because obviously you've only got one cutting tip uh, per revolution whereas with an involute gear cutter like that which you can buy very cheaply off the internet uh, out of Hong Kong and China you've got multiple teeth which are cutting so it'll cut many many times faster with much less vibration and it'll be a lot quieter but uh, starting off you can use a fly cutter and it will do the job provided you use a relatively uh, soft well non-ferrous metals basically like uh, hard aluminium is good this is hard aluminium and brass fine no, no worries at all so I've cut a few teeth on here already just to um, set it up um, for the demonstration because this will be slower than an involute for sure and I'll fire it up and I'll cut a tooth and then I'll turn it around you can just see what the quality is like um, and I can compare it to the one I cut with the involute which is on the other side of this old blank so we'll do it now spinning at 1100 rpm. When I used the involute gear cutter I was spinning at about 650. Um, I wouldn't go any faster than uh, 1100 because I mean basically you're going to get a lot more vibration. Um, the shock load is going to be greater but I sped up the lathe to make it cut a bit quicker and as I said that's the one downside of the single point cutter it is quite slow. So I'll turn around the gear and you can have a look and see what the quality is like compared to the teeth we cut with the involute cutter. Now these are the teeth we cut in the other video with the involute cutter you can see that was the correct cutter for this gear um, but you can see the quality is excellent. Now we'll come around to the teeth we've just cut with the fly cutter and as you can see the quality is also extremely good. Uh, there's no reason why the quality can't be as good as an involute gear cutter. Uh, as I said, this isn't quite the right, right profile. Those teeth are a bit too pointy. Um, for a 50, they should be uh, a bit more square on the end, but that's the only uh, uh, fly cutter uh, tip I had in the drawer uh, at the moment. So um, that's just 
what I use for the demonstration. So there you have it. Um, certainly uh, quite easy to cut gears very cheaply. I mean, even this blank is made from scrap aluminium that I melted down in a tin can uh, using a hairdryer uh, to, as a bellows um, for a wood fire. It's as simple as that. Um, so the whole gear can cost you absolutely nothing. Um, all you need is a vertical mill slide and you really want to collet. I wouldn't use a chuck because um, there's no guarantee that the cutter's going to stay in position. The ER system is an extremely good collet system. It'll hold virtually anything in it that's round or even remotely round. So, yeah, uh, set yourself up. Uh, this is just an old uh, brass um, bush holder uh, off of an old drive shaft and this is just a bit of right angle steel with a, a blind hole in the bottom. All your cutting forces are pushed down onto the onto this unit. As you can see it's not even supported on this side, it's something held here because, and actually it works quite well because having that as a bit of a pivoting point basically, because this is totally rigid, um, when you pull up your clamp it basically self-centers the shaft so everything lines up absolutely perfectly. And needless to say, you have to have your shaft vertical on this plane and, and also at 90 degrees to the horizontal in actually both directions. So you've got three planes to worry about. But yeah, so um, that's it. Uh, it's not difficult. And uh, yes, you can make gears very, very cheaply.